Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would review 2022 and show you the bracelet designs I created. I could be mistaken, but looking back at my notes and videos, I think I have 10 designs to share that I created last year, and these are more permanent designs. So I won't give you the names of the charms, but just share the bracelet theme. And we'll just randomly pick them out of this beautiful jewelry box here. This stunning jewelry box with this beautiful pattern on top, I believe was a Mother's Day exclusive, and it is so well designed. I really like the color weight of, that it has as well. And let's just grab the top bracelet here. I refer to this bracelet design as my camping bracelet. It's on my favorite double wrap leather bracelet, and I really enjoy this design. I know that it's long retired now, but I think you can sometimes still find it at the outlets or Rula La. But the way it tightens up and it's just, I don't know, it's so unique and so comfortable. But let's look at this design that I created. Um, there's three different Muranos on here and that's unusual for me. I don't usually put three different colors. But I picked up all of these colors out of the center dangle here. This is the camping charm that is still current with Pandora. And as you can see, there's a little orange CZ for the campfire, the tent, the stars. And then the background is stunning because you've got the water, the night sky and the mountains. And that is so perfect for our camping environments where I live. And the bale is really nice because they used a star CZ on that bale. So this is the star of this bracelet. And then I centered the other charms just to go with it. So this fox was recently retired. I think he was in the winter sale. And then we've got the matching owl. And then I've used some open works on either side. And then of course the Muranos. The dangles are really nice. This one is the fox and the rabbit. And I believe the back says we can be kind and be different or something like that. And then we've got this little owl dangle. And then the inscription on this one is actually on the front and it says always by your side. And it's supposed to be like a mother owl and a baby, but I can't really make out the baby. It's a little bit obscure for me. Opening up the jewelry box, let's grab another bracelet. This one is my aerial bracelet. And if you're wondering where I get these plastic bags, these are the bags that the bracelets come in. So I get a few every time I go to my Pandora store and I just kind of rip off the sticker. So as mentioned, this bracelet is all about Ariel and the Little Mermaid. And I love the colors of the green and the purple together. It just works. And it especially works because of the aerial right in the center of this bracelet. Um, so she's got the green enamel for her tail and then her top is in purple. I wish Pandora had did black enamel for the eyes. That would have just made this charm that much better. So that is my one criticism about this charm. I think that was a big miss by Pandora with these little Disney princesses. And then she's got the purple flower on top and then her long wavy hair. And there's her little tail at the back there. And then I have a few other charms on here. I'll just quickly breeze through them. Um, so I just used an open work CZ flower. And then we've got the long retired seahorse with that beautiful teal CZs going around the bale. And they did use a silver enamel. And it's the same on both sides. This charm here, actually I was surprised, my local store still has this in their sales section. It does open up, it's the treasure chest, and it is starting to oxidize a little bit, so it's getting a little bit more detail to it. If you excuse my nails here, so this part here does move, like how cute is that? And let's open up this charm. Inside it says treasure every moment, and of course the Owen moment is a heart and it snaps together really well. Um, you even have some handles on the side. This is a really nice charm. And then we've got Ariel's crown. There's Ariel on the bale. Uh, this Murano is still available. These are the dogwood clips that are long retired. Flounder, he is so cute. I can't remember if he's retired or not, but his tail does move back and forth and he's got some really nice color enamel. This one is definitely retired. It's got the um, fish scales on the back and an ombre effect with Ariel on front. And then of course, Sebastian. I was so surprised actually to see him in this winter sale again because he was gone for quite a while. 
Sebastian has music notes on his bale. This is an amethyst kiss spacer, long retired, a matching clip, um, Ariel's Murano. And this amethyst dangle is so pretty, it's gorgeous. And then I thought for it was fitting to put this charm on here. And it's just the open work, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it is so pretty and it is still available with Pandora. It's very lightweight. And then we've got another retired aerial charm and she's sitting on a shell. And then I just used a pave clip at the end. Okay, so opening up the jewelry box, the next one that I have in here is Star Wars. So you've seen this one repeatedly, especially with Star Wars in the winter sale. My goal for this bracelet design was to do black and gold and also combine some 14 karat gold two-tones. This first charm is called Swirl and look how much gold is on this one, it's beautiful. So this is the original, Pandora did redo this for the Pandora 20 anniversary charms. And then I've got the Yoda with the darker enamel, the Okra Murano, and this is Stella. So this is a lot of gold and diamonds. Like look how many diamonds are in this charm. And then we'll just kind of breeze through all of these Star Wars charms because I'm sure you're sick of seeing them after the winter sale. But uh, we got the Millennium Falcon, the Death Star clip, and of course, Darth Vader. As you can see, all of these charms are wearing really well. This here is C-3PO with R2-D2. I've got the Ruthenium Grogu on here because I thought the darkness really combined in the Stella and Darth Vader. The Globe Clip, I think this one is retired now. For some reason, I don't think this one is still current. It's a shame because it is really, really nice clip. I do like round clips lately. Um, then of course, Chewy. Chewy is my favorite out of all the characters of Star Wars. The Black Fascinating Murano. And then this is a Pandora Shine when it was Shine. So I believe this is the 18 karat plated, not the 14. Just like um, C3PO here. So it is a match. And of course, it's the sun with CZs. And the back is plain. There is a faint little face there. And then we have this older, I believe this is Starburst, but I can't remember, but it does have little balls of gold among silver. So we'll reach in and we'll grab this next bracelet. And this is an oldie. This bracelet design, I love, 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 love this one. And it's using the Captivating Murano's and it's the black with the dark gray. And then I used all old vintage Pandora charms when Pandora used to do a lot of oxidization. So I want to feature those in this bracelet. And at the very end here, I've got the Rockstar clip. And then I can't remember the name of this charm, so I won't even try to get the names, but look how beautiful they all tie in. This is a really old charm, this raised flower these clips and just you see what I mean like aren't they beautiful such a comfortable bracelet too so this is the oxidized bracelets the darker one just seemed fitting for this design and this I think is actually the newest charm on this bracelet it's that open work flower kind of reminds me of a doily for some reason but it just suited this design and I did one in open work because Pandora back in the day they did not do a lot of open work charms so it was harder to cover the threads. Okay so next we have a Pandora rose design and I just shared this design in my last monthly hits and misses video because I did put my purple pansy dangle on here and as Riri Baby told me, she's like, okay, it looks perfect. Don't touch it again. <laughs> so I do think this is a more permanent design. I might swap a charm in and out, but I like how loose it is. And I like that it's not full of charms. Like it does have some movement to it. This one at the end here is a very special charm. And um, I can't remember why, but there's something to do with that pink crystal in the center. I think it's a crystal, not a CZ, but I could be wrong, but it's got the pink and the purple. This is the Pandora Rose family tree. And look at these gorgeous Muranos. They're so special. And then I've got the puffy heart. This is the one I'm not sure if it works on this bracelet, so we'll see. Uh, then we've come to the acorn 
and this one I believe is retired now. Look at all those CZs at the bottom. Very blingy. The row of heart clips. So here's a nice close-up look at this pansy dangle. It's actually a pendant. You can see all the clear CZs at the top and then the deep eggplant purple enamel. It actually is a little bit of an ombre effect because it's lighter at the center of the flower and it gets darker. And then the back is just plain, but not quite because they added a little leaf right there. Isn't that pretty? And then this leaf is full of different colors of CZs from light pink to purple. And it repeats on both sides. It always looks tarnished. I don't know if it's just reflecting on itself, but I've tried cleaning it many times. This little dangle I believe is on Rue La La, it's the rose. And I can't make up my mind if the CZ in the bale is like a light cherry red or a dark pink. And then you've got some CZs in the rose as well. And there's a little leaf at the bottom. And then the back actually has a very faint inscription. And it says something. Oh, I believe it says I'm yours, but it's really faint. This is my favorite Murano out of the three. I always put that one in my center. So just a warning with the Muranos, do not soak them in water. Otherwise you will get eventually watermarks at the core. I've got a few Muranos like that, unfortunately. And then this one is on Rue La La. It's got the pale pink CZs and then some CZs in the actual oak leaf, but they also did a raised texture on that oak leaf. It's a very detailed dangle. And then the back, typically on the back of charms, sometimes Pandora will do like with CZs, they'll just do the little holes like that to give light. But I'm so glad they didn't with this oak leaf because they followed that textured pattern of a leaf. And then my purple pansy, I love this one. This charm inspired this bracelet. And then we have the little acorn and with the matching leaf and the mushrooms. And I can't remember the name of this one with the leaves over the pink CZ. I believe this one's on Rue La La too. Most of this bracelet is. And then another one of these Muranos. And this one here has got a really weird inscription that says, come fly with me. I don't know what that's supposed to mean other than maybe leaves falling in the fall. But the bale on this one is really pretty because it's kind of like got a okra and a clear in a leaf imprint. CZs, so it's really pretty. And so is the color of the CZs underneath that open leaf. And then I just put a clip on this. So I do want to get a safety chain for this one eventually, but I do want it to be a Pandora Rose safety chain. So that will require some saving up. So we're halfway through and this next bracelet is my new winter design that I just created using some of the winter collection from this last year. So I love this. I love the combination of these Muranos. These Muranos are amazing. And I really like the contrast of them with the Pandora Rose. So I do have some retired charms and current charms on here. This one is retired, the polished snowflake, but again, Rue La La, I believe has them. The mittens charm, this one is long retired. But do you see with this charm how you can pull the mittens on both sides? And I love that feature on this charm. And the bale's really nice as well. So this here is the first of the Muranos. When I was picking out my Muranos, look at the core in them. Isn't that amazing? These snowflake Muranos. Um, I wanted some that had that sparkle to it. So that's what I handpicked for myself. I have seen some that is a bit more clear glass. And you can see the cracks in the glass to look like ice. Just amazing, beautiful Muranos. And then I've got a rose spacer because I needed little touches of Pandora rose at the end of the bracelet. This little snowflake dangle is beautiful. The pattern on the snowflake and then the three little snowflakes dangling are all different with different colors of CZs. The cutout snowflakes and then the back repeats. So you do have that blue CZ, but you just, instead of having, um, or CZs on the back of these little dangles. They just used um, the little raised dots. The ice skate, look at that bale. It's beautiful. This is such a beautifully detailed charm. 
Uh, for now, I've got the Star Murano on here, and I like how the CZs and the little dots stand out against the oxidized star. And then this here is retired. I can't remember the name of it, but I thought that the color of that blue CZ in the center did really well with these um, Snowflake Muranos. This is a new charm. This is like one of my favorite charms from this winter release, and I wasn't expecting it to be. It's just so light looking and airy, and they just, to me, they just nailed the snowflake design on this one with the CZs at the end. And then, do you see that in the middle there? How they used extra little snowflakes and it repeats on both sides. I hope for next year's winter collection, they release a silver version of this because I will definitely buy it. Okay, so this is my favorite Murano out of all of them. I think it just had a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more cracks to it. This charm here, I purchased to go with this snowflake because I needed another little touch of Pandora rose in the center and I thought those blue CZs tied in really well. And instead of having snowflake dangles like this one, you've got star dangles and each of the stars have a different color of CZ as well. This one does have an inscription and I think it says dream big. Now this is my snow globe and my snow globe is really pretty. Um, I wish I had a little less of that coating of sparkle so I can see the blue CZ inside a little bit more clear. But you know, from certain angles, I noticed that blue CZ a little bit more. And so, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was gonna try to exchange this one, but I actually kind of like it. I've grown fond of it, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. And then at the bottom here, it says one in a million. And this Murano glass is held in place by little tiny snowflakes. Now, ironically, the back of this charm has a little less of that coating, but it doesn't have the CZ. This is another older clip right here that's got multiple stars. And this is a long retired charm. It's the polar bear and he's got a little snowflake on top little separate disc dangle. This is a new charm from this winter and it is so pretty. I love the colors in this charm, the shade of that brown enamel with a little bit of sparkle to it, but not a lot. It's just stunning. And the green lollipop and the little red and white on top and the candy cane. There's just so much I love about this charm, this little gingerbread house. And then of course, another little spacer Murano. And this one I think was a surprise hit with a lot of people. It actually has a really decent price point for what it is. And look at the CZs, like there's one giant CZ in the center and then it runs around the edge of the snowflake. And then inside is where your inscription is. It says you are one of a kind. But then the back of this charm is not just plain. They actually put, of course, a little bit of engraving there. So I thought that was a really nice touch. And then we come to the celestial snowflake. So Pandora is like, okay, you make up your mind if you want this to be celestial or snowflake. And that's what we're doing. It's at the very end of this bracelet with a silicone line clip. This next bracelet design is also on the black double wrap in my favorite style. And these are my summer fruits. So <laughs> this one is just random and fun and it's really nice. So I'm gonna be keeping this together for next summer as well. I have these long retired cherry clips on here and it looks like they need a little bit of a polish, but I did polish them last summer. Um, so you've got the red enamel, of course, for the cherries and they're rounded and it repeats on both sides. It took me some work to come up with this design. I know there's only, what, six charms on here, but it took some work to come up with something that I liked. And I did ask you, my viewers, a few times what you thought of different designs, but this is the one that I settled on. It really just kind of all flows together for me. There is the little lemon wedge and he's got a little bit of lime and yellow. It's kind of like an ombre effect. And it even has some textured dots there and some CZs for the pits. And then this Murano here is just so pretty. I can't remember the name of it right now, but 
It's got the yellow CZs in the center of the white flowers. I believe every second flower. Oh, maybe every flower. But look how well the colors of this Murano work with the lemon wedge. And it also looks like strawberry blossoms to go with this strawberry right here. I really like this strawberry and the, the top on it. And I just think it's so well done. Like, it's just amazing to me that Pandora's created that strawberry to look so realistic. And then here we have the cherry dangle. My favorite part of this cherry dangle is look at the enamel. The leaf is the perfect shade of green and the cherries and it's just so well done. And then the back is exactly the same. So this is another permanent bracelet design. I can't see myself taking this apart for a very long time. This next bracelet design, I'm just kind of questioning whether or not it's 2022 or early 2023. I'm kind of wondering if I cheated a little bit, including it in this video. Um, some of these charms did come from the winter sale. And I just received this little button charm to add to this bracelet. So here's how it looks now with the little button charm in the center. And I think it works. Um, you've got the Star Wars and the block letters and of course R2-D2 and C-3PO. The dangle right there and the Stormtrooper helmet, Ewok. I just, I love the colors of this. It's, it's lighter and brighter than my black and gold one. So I've got the two different styles. This next bracelet is my favorite Disney bracelet and it represents the Lion King. And I just really enjoy wearing it. It feels good on and I just like how it all came together. So at the very back of the bracelet, so the part that goes underneath your wrist, um, I've got the clips here, but I put in a two-tone charm and it says, I love you. And then on this side of the bracelet, this is like one of my favorite Muranos too. It's the Clouded Leopard, I believe it's called. It just has such a nice, unique tones to it that Pandora does not often do. And uh, yeah, I just like all those warm tones. And then this here is Pandora Shine, I believe. It's Mufasa and Simba overlooking their land and then here is i believe this isn't mufasa i believe this is simba grown up and they use black enamel and red enamel for his nose they did come up with a shine version of this as well but i just wanted the one and then i used a silicone line clip at the end I believe these are the grains clips. So now on this side, I've got Simba and I like the color of his ears and look at the expression on his face, like how he's got like one eyebrow kind of raised and he's got that quizzical look to his face. And I think it matches really well with this heart here. This, look at the shades of those enamel together is perfect. And then right here, I've got Simba's friends and they are, looks like they're doing that. You, do you know that scene in the movie where they sing and they're walking through the jungle and you've got that green enamel with the leaves over top. And this is like an open work um, grains charm, I believe it's called. And then in the center of the heart here, I've got the little protection with the gold heart there. And this is the final bracelet design. I've shared this one with you a few times. I'm really proud of this design. It's definitely a favorite of mine. And I think the reason it is a favorite of mine is it's not like me. So typically I am not drawn to the pinks and the purples and the flowers. It's just not where I typically gravitate first, but there's something about this that just works for me. And I think it all came from these pansies. Pandora released these pansies last spring and I've mentioned it a few times. Pansies remind me of my grandmother and I just adore her. Um, so anyway, these pansies started this bracelet and because I started with such fond memories, this bracelet came together fairly quickly and I just love the bouquet feeling about this bracelet. At the very end here, well, let's actually start with this bracelet. I think I picked this one up in the Black Friday sale. This is the newer release butterfly bracelet. It's so pretty. I'm so in love with this bracelet clasp. And then this one here, Pandora retired this charm so quickly and then released a version with purple daisies. So I picked up the white. 
I'm a little bit tempted by the purple daisies, whether or not that would work better with this bracelet design because I do have the purple one right here, but not sure yet. And this charm also has a little bee and ladybug included, and it's just in silver, so it doesn't stand out that much. This here is the butterfly that was released also in the springtime, and I managed to find this one pre-loved, so that was a definite score. And the pattern repeats on both sides. And then this cute little rabbit, how sweet is he? Just so, so darling. The pink pansy, I do have two of these because the bracelet I purchased um, included the butterfly and the pink pansy. These clips are some of my favorite clips. Um, they just make every other charm stand out. The center of the bracelet, I've got the firefly. I do not know why I waited so long to purchase this firefly. And it does glow in the dark and it has the disc that says you light up my life. And then I've got the um, teal and the purple daisies in the center. This one was just retired, but they didn't retire the purple. And of course in the center, I've also got my Pandora Panda and he's so cute. Look at the little paws, so sweet. This is the bee pendant. I'm thinking Pandora retired this, but maybe not yet, but it's always sold out online. And then the blue pansy. This here is the little sheep. Look how sweet. And the little hearts included on the feet. And then even at the bottom and just all that raised texture. The caterpillar, this was a very unusual charm for Pandora to do this kind of different pattern and the different color of enamel for pink. And then here is the snail. This one is definitely retired. You've got the smooth back and all the CZs are on the bottom. And that is the last bracelet design I wanted to share with you is my spring bracelet design. So it's kind of fitting because I think I am most proud of that design. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please do leave me a comment below. Let me know which one was your favorite design. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.